Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's your man, Lord Shu. What's good? How we been? What's been going on? Leave a comment. Let me know where you been at, what you got going on, how life been. Yo, if you're a returning subscriber, I just want to thank you. I appreciate all the love that I've been getting on the channel. And also, if you are a new subscriber, stick around. You're going to like this episode. So y'all go ahead and click that like button. And let's get into today's topic. We are talking about mastering your position. We finally have gotten out of the book of self. And now we're in the actual keys to the island. The steps to the keys to the island, which is a lifestyle created by me and Kid Money X, which is my cousin. Shout out to Kid Money X, man. I just spoke to his brother the other day. Um, much love to Muggsy. Shout out to the fam. So let's get into it. Mastering your position. Honestly, it starts with this. And I'm going to pull this straight from the book. Here's a quote from the book. Wisdom and love have a funny way of winning people over. When you approach people with the actions that you put into place for yourself and created scenes that people can see in their own life and brought it to life, more than likely people are going to love you for the simple fact that you're showing them something that they deem to be not believable or something that they can't do. When you're mastering your position, you are literally mastering yourself. You are taking the information that you've learned throughout your life and all of the lessons and turning those mistakes into wins and putting it out there on display for people to see so that people can become inspired by your actions and what you're doing for your community, for your family, and most importantly, for yourself. So think about that. You're mastering your position. What does that really mean to you? What, what do you, where do you see yourself? What do you wanna be in life? And taking the actions necessary to do that. What does that look like for you? First, it starts with the vision. You gotta know where, where you're going. You know, the the world steps aside for the man who knows where he's going. So you got to choose a good team, obviously, and you got to lay that foundation so that when you choose the good team of smart young people, they are going to be not only ready to use their skills to help you out because you might be older or you're just a good leader. They'll be willing to put their skills and the time that they have into what you're doing because they believe in who you are and what you're doing. And to them, it's a personal reflection of what they're doing in their lives so that at some point, if they step away from the team and decide to do their own thing, they have that wisdom that you gave them. So that's the most important thing right there. Those who are expressing themselves tend to cling to people who do that already. And what that means is if I'm already out here and I'm an artist, other artists who are just now starting out will start to follow you and start to emulate what you do or they'll look to your content or whatever you may be doing to inspire them. So be wary. Do everything to the best that you can do it because you never know who's watching, whether it be a new fan, whether it be someone who consumes your product or someone who is in a high position of power looking for someone with your expertise you never know who's watching so you always got to be on 10 at all times that's why mental health is number one taking care of yourself and self-care i always mention this in my videos that self-care you should dedicate a day in the week if that's the very least that you can do to work towards healing yourself taking care of yourself upkeep on yourself meditating studying things, reading a book, relaxing, playing a video game, whatever it is that you do, you need to set aside a time or a day to really do that so that you can stay in your optimal grind mode. What you do makes the difference to how you're gonna be in the long run. If you are in control of your life, then you cannot put your mistakes, your losses, where you messed up at on someone else. Everything is your fault, the good and the bad. So always keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it for today's episode of three wands if you like this video and think it can help someone please share this video with your friends family members or anyone you think it can help please click that like button so that it can help my channel out and i can bring y'all more good videos leave a comment let me know how i can make these videos better and also it's lord shoe holla